faith is a spiritual law, the law of the spirit. As it is written in Romans 1, 17, the just shall live by faith. It takes faith to process your vision, your dream, the will of God, God's purpose for your life. It takes faith to receive from God. It takes faith to hear from God. It takes faith to walk with God. It takes faith to fight invisible battle. It takes faith to process God's promises. Your Christian life is defined by your faith. The quality of your faith defines the quality of your Christian life. If your faith is small, if your faith is weak, if your faith is under attack, your destiny will be under attack. You need a strong faith to live a destiny fulfilling life. That's what the Bible says, the just shall live by his faith. You need to develop your faith, grow your faith. What is faith, by the way? Faith is a mystery, a mystery of spiritual engraftment into divinity. And when you are engrafted into divinity, you begin to bear the order of the Spirit of God. For with God, all things are possible. And those who walk by faith, they walk in the realm of possibility. In Luke 1, 37, the Bible says, with God, all things are possible. In Mark 9, 23, the Bible says, to them that believe all things are possible. Faith enables you to walk in the realm of possibility. Your vision will manifest gloriously when your faith is intact. If your faith is under attack, your death is under attack. Jesus prayed for Peter. He said, Peter, Peter has prayed for you. Now your faith faileth not. The object of attack in the Christian faith is their faith. Everything revolves around your faith. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. We walk by faith, not by sight. Faith is a law, the law of the Spirit. Faith is operating by the Word of God. Faith is putting the Word of God to work for you. Without faith, it is impossible to live a glorious Christian life, to live a colorful destiny. Your faith needs to be ignited with fire, the fire of the Word of God. How do you get faith? Faith comes by hearing, hearing of the Word of God. The more of the Word of God you study, the more understanding of the Word, the more illumination of the Word, the more faith you generate. If you don't have time for the Word of God, your faith will be small. You need to be rewarded to operate in strong faith. You need illumination. You need spiritual understanding. You need light from the Word of God. As you desire to study the Word of God, the Holy Spirit will open your revelation. The more of revelation and inside, the more faith you generate. And you put the faith to work in God's Word, things will begin to work in your life. Remember, faith without work is dead. Faith is in three dimensions. The dimension of believing, the dimension of confessing or declaring the word, and the dimension of acting on the word. When you declare the word, you believe what you declare, you act on the word of God. You take practical steps. Then things begin to work in your favor. Remember, in Matthew chapter 9, verse 29, the Bible says, Let it be according to your faith. It is to every man in the kingdom of God according to his faith. It will happen in your life. Your destiny will manifest. It will come to reality when your faith is intact. So it is important you guide your faith jealously with spiritual understanding and you value materials that will help you to grow your faith. If you go to the book of Hebrew chapter 11, the whole chapter talks about the heroes of faith. Even in Hebrew chapter 6 verse 12, it says, through faith and patience, the men of old they were able to receive what God promised them. Have you had a dream, a glorious dream, a positive dream, a prophecy, a revelation, a vision? You have a plan you want to do? Your faith will bring it to reality. Your faith will synchronize it, will make it a possibility. If your faith is under attack, you need to pray and study the Word of God and develop yourself, practice the Word of God, put your faith to work, and your destiny will manifest, your dream will come to reality, your life become colorful, you begin to win the battles of life. You will never turn away from any battle because it is given to you to live. Faith is the currency of the Spirit. You transact with God by faith and you transact in the Spirit realm by faith. If your faith is not active, your Christian life becomes a mere religion and it will be impossible for you to live a victorious life. They just live by faith. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. God bless you in Jesus' name.